Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 87. Today we're going to cover the origin of the term uh, sealed with a kiss, uh, and X being a symbol of kisses. Yeah, so let's look at the note here. Um, I've often wondered why X is a symbol for several things that we use in English, and this, um, this, uh, this video will, will explain some of them. So let's look at the note here. Uh, sometimes you may see um, letters to loved ones signed with X's and O's, uh, meaning hugs and kisses. Yeah, I can remember as a kid thinking, why are X's supposed to be kisses? Uh, where did that come from? I guess the O for a hug makes a little more sense because maybe it's kind of circular, you know, when you hug someone. But I always remember thinking that why is an X a kiss? Well, what's the connection? All right, let's continue here. Sometimes people may use the abbreviation um, SWAC, I guess S-W-A-K, as sealed with a kiss, instead of writing the word sealed with a kiss. Uh, we also cannot forget X, uh, or triple X, is a symbol for a dirty movie in which there is supposed to be a lot of kissing. And this is another thing. <laughs> Later on, I kind of wonder, why did they say like an X-rated movie? Where did this X come from? What is X have to do with sex. Maybe, you know, you, you might have uh, thought maybe it has to do with the X at the word, at the end of the word sex, but no, that's not it. It, it was connected to the idea of kissing. Well, let's continue. Uh, the origin of this phrase and practice goes back to the Bible, ironically. Uh, St. Andrew, one of the apostles of Jesus, was sentenced to death by crucifixion for spreading Christianity. Yeah, especially in the early days, uh, being a Christian was a dangerous thing. It could cost you your life to try to spread the religion. Um, however, he requested an X-shaped cross uh, because he did not consider himself worthy to die the same way as Jesus. So he knew he was going to be crucified, but he didn't want to be crucified straight up. He wanted it to be kind of on a sideways angle because he didn't think he was worthy like Jesus. So, this is where the X comes in. So, it's an X-shaped cross, kind of like sideways. Um, okay, let's continue. During the Middle Ages, most people were illiterate. You know, most people didn't know how to read or write. Uh, and could not even sign their own names on contracts. In order to make the contract uh, legal, the signer used an X. And this is another thing I used to wonder about. You see this in cowboy days, where people just use an X. Like, you know, you used to think, well, how do they know the difference? I mean, anybody can do an X. How do you know that belongs to that person? But that's what they used to do uh, to represent St. Andrew. So that's where the X came from. So when they didn't know how to write their own name and they wrote an X, it was supposed to represent St. Andrew. Uh, and to prove their honesty and sincerity, they would kiss the X. <laughs> okay. Uh, to seal the deal. So this is where we get sealed with a kiss. So they wrote the X and then they kissed it. I don't know. Did they recognize their lip prints? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, to seal the deal. Thus the phrase sealed with a kiss was born. So this is where it actually came from. All right. And um, all right. Let's just give uh, one example here. Um, she signed the letter to her boyfriend. Sealed with a kiss. Yeah, some people actually write it out, or they may use, you know, S-A, uh, S-W-A-K. And then left the impression of her lips with lipstick. Yeah, so maybe she was wearing lipstick and she actually kissed the letter. You know, kind of a romantic thing to do. So, anyway, so now you know. So now you know kind of where the X came from for people, you know, signing when they don't know how to sign their own name. Why X is connected to the idea of kissing. Uh, yeah, why we, uh, why we use X for X-rated movies. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope you found it informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.